Hi everybody, Mr Dingwall here. I'm just in the car, about to head down to school, ready for prize giving 2020 at Blair Gowry High School. Really looking forward to getting into school, catching up with the senior leadership team and working together in school for the first time in ages. It's going to be great. So I'm going to head down now. I'll see you at school, ready for prize giving. Well, here I am in my office. It's looking a bit bare. I haven't been here for ages. It feels really strange. Although I have spent a lot of time at home working on how Tay can win the house championship. Anyway, need to get ready for prize giving, so I'm going to go and find Mrs Hill and see if she's ready. Here we are. Oh, Mrs Hill's door is open. I didn't think she'd be here this early. That's strange. Oh, oh, Mrs Hill? Mrs Hill? Mr Dingwall? Have you been here the whole time? Of course, hasn't everybody? No, we've all been at home for three months. What have you been working on? Version 76 of next year's timetable. It doesn't look like it's the timetable you're working on. It's top secret plans to win the House Cup. Ah, really? Yes. Okay, well anyway, we need to go and get ready for prize giving. We need to go and find the others. Let's go. Okay then. I've not even got my heels with me. Right, here we are. Let's see if Mr. Stewart's in his office. I don't think he'd be here. Mr. Stewart? Uh, What's going on? Mr. Stewart, have you been here the whole time? Of course, I've been really busy. What have you been working on? I've been working on raising attainment and closing the attainment poverty gap. What else? Really? It, it doesn't look like that's what's on your desk, Mr. Stewart. Okay, I've been looking at how Stomach can win the House Championship. Ah, that would need a lot of work. Okay, anyway. We need to go and find Mrs. Leslie and get ready for prize giving. Let's go. Let's go. Mrs. Leslie. Oh. Mrs. Leslie. Oh. Mr. Stewart. Mr. Dingwall. What on earth are you three doing here? What are you doing here? I've spent 14 weeks of lockdown catching up on my reading. There's this new thing called Curriculum for Excellence coming into all the schools. Seems quite good. So what are you doing here? Well, we just came to get ready for prize giving, but... Oh, yeah, I'm getting ready for prize giving too. I've looked at all the house points. My goodness, it's a close one concert uh, contest this year. Brilliant. Do we need to go and get ready for prize giving now? Yeah, then? absolutely do. I'm going to get changed and get into some finery, all right? Nice to see you all, though. OK. Let's go.
everyone. Welcome to our first and I hope last Blair Gowdy High School virtual awards evening. Although we are virtual we will try to keep to some of our normal traditions. Although it is not tradition that the head teacher is in bare feet. Firstly we start with news about the staff team. Mrs Tom retires from the Home Economics Department. Our own Prue Leaf leads us to enjoy a new built house with a garden to cultivate. Mrs Jackson in the English Department also retires but assures us she may be retiring but she will be back to help out if we are ever short staff. Mr Kennedy in the Music Department is also off to pastures new. He just doesn't know where yet, but the world, or at least Scotland, is his oyster. Mrs McFarlane also undertook some studying and left to work in early years. To all of our departing team members, I would like to say thank you for the contributions you have made to Blair Gowrie High School and we wish you well. During the session, we welcomed Mrs Burse in the library and Mr Irvin took up posts as Principal Teacher of Guidance. Ms Crawford joined us in PE. At the start of next session, we will be extending a warm welcome to Mrs Stewart in Maths. We needed another Stewart on the, math, on the staff team. That makes six, which is bound to cause some confusion. Mr Henderson in Business Education, Mr Kirkwood in Maths, Ms Faulkner in English, and Miss Johnston in art, and Mr. Mannion in music. Mrs. Hendry's family grew with the arrival of baby April on the 15th of that month, and Mr. and Mrs. McNiven welcomed baby Ava to the world on 18th of June. My thanks to the whole Blair Gowrie High School team, teachers and support staff, for their unstinting commitment to the life and work of the school, both in school and from their dining room tables since March. 2020, year of COVID-19. A year that no one will forget. On the afternoon of Friday, March the 20th, the sudden announcement was made that we would not be in school on Monday and that the country was entering lockdown. But let's talk about our year before lockdown. I can confidently state that teachers and support staff in Blair Gowrie High School go above and beyond to give our young people a variety of learning experiences. Please indulge me while I list just a few of those experiences that happened pre-lockdown. In preparation for their now postponed trip to Cambodia, our pupils spent a very wet weekend in the great outdoors of Scotland. Our positive destinations were at the highest ever level last year, at a whopping 96%. And we are convinced that the vast array of work experience that our young people enjoy contributes to this. Everything from lawyers, vets, joiners, health and social care, and even a stint on fishing boats in Europe. More than 400 BHS pupils also benefited from our own in-house careers fair, which helped many of them decide on their next steps. Mental health of young people features a lot in the national press and we continue to educate and support our young people, including this session, a workshop delivered by Natasha Marie Stewart to S1 and S2 pupils and to S5 and S6 pupils a presentation by former supermodel Adwa Aboa, her only Scottish tour date. We were the first PK secondary school to win the Digital Schools Award. And haven't those skills been tested to the limit during lockdown? The English department, thinking out of the box and appointing a patron of reading, international and renowned author Elizabeth Vine. Hearing Dogs were the winners of this year's Youth Philanthropy Initiative and benefited from £3,000. We had pupils visit the Scottish Parliament, Amazon and Aviva. 
the CAN bus visit with us, cyber security events took place, debating, modelling cells out of plasticine, the list goes on and on. In our community, pupils performed at the People's Cayley as part of the Hamish Mathis Festival, playing their own composition of Home, created with the help of Davy McLean. Pupils helped out in the community garden, displayed work at the Leslie Street Art Trail. We even opened our own box gallery, a small space to exhibit the work of our many talented young people. And then came lockdown. Overnight, pupils and indeed parents all had to become expert in digital platforms in order to keep us all safe and to keep learning going. Tonight, 30th of June, marks 100 days since school closed, 103 since we last saw our pupils, and we miss them terribly. Everyone has struggled with the multiple challenges that this terrible virus has brought upon us all. But out of this dreadful situation that we have found ourselves in, we must applaud ourselves that we listened and followed advice, and we are now, we hope, returning to school in August. To close, I would like to thank our parents, carers, supporters and staff for supporting Glasgowie High School, especially through lockdown. We have had many messages of thanks and support from our pupils and from our parents and carers. But mostly, I would like to congratulate all of our pupils receiving an award tonight. Well done to every one of you. And to all of our young people, whether you are leaving school as the class of 2020 or returning to school in August, please do not let 2020 define you negatively. I would like to share the words of Johnny Corn, an Irish-American comedian and actor. We all have the chance to do something extraordinary. As we head out of this pandemic, we can change the world. Create a world of love. A world where we are kind to each other. A world where we are kind no matter what class, race, sexual orientation, what religion or lack of or what job we have. A world we don't judge those at the food bank because that may be us if things were just slightly different. Let love and kindness be our roadmap. Young people of Glasgowie High School shape your future. And now I would like to break with tradition. Never has a keynote speaker been asked to two consecutive awards evenings. However, backed by popular demand, I'd like to welcome Jim Smith. Former pupil, local farmer, national comedian, and soon to be dad. Laughter is good for the soul, and Jim made us laugh last year, so I am delighted he agreed to return this year. Over to Jim. I fit like it's just me, a farmer Jim here, uh, speaking to you as all, saying hello um, to the class of 2020 of Blairgowry High School, my former school. Uh, now, as you probably know, Mad Bev, your head mistress, head teacher, if you ever want to tell her, the head uh, was on the phone and asked me to do a video to try and inspire you all uh, and wish you luck on your way as this is your last year at, at Blairgowry High. So, uh, she's an awful last Bev, like you can. <gasps> oh, she's some crack, like you can. She keeps asking me on a date, and I'm like, no, no, woman, no. you're not my type. <laughs> anyway, but I have got her instead for doing this, because uh, I left the uh, Blair High about 25 years ago, actually, and I missed out in higher biology, and I've just managed to... Uh, agreed with Bev to backdate it and upgrade it, scrape it into a C, so that's fine. So I've got two hires now, one in geography, 
uh, and one in biology, so that's fine, and uh, so that's grand. But um, I so I, I'm trying to be inspiring. I hope you've uh, yeah you're, you're looking forward to anyone that's leaving this year, even like can anyone that. Not just the six years, but like the fourth years and the fifth years, you can. If you find that schools know your thing, it's okay. It doesn't matter about it, like you can. Uh, I wish you well on your way. And um, it doesn't matter if it is you want to do, just find a job that makes you happy. That's only my only advice to you guys. If you find a job that you love every day, You'll never hate a day a day's work in your life. You can. So it doesn't matter if you want to be, you know, a lawyer or a doctor or a footballer or a joiner or work for a council or even just being a farmer like myself. If you love what you do, you'll do it to the best of your ability. So I hope that's been inspirational for you all. Okay. And uh, and it's never too late in life. To, uh, uh, to turn around and decide that you want to do something else because uh, if there's anybody out there that was at school with me 25 years ago uh, they would have known that um, if there's any mums or dads that was at the school with me or any old teachers watching the last person they would have thought that would end up being a stand-up comedian would probably be me but anyway all I can say is best of luck, and I'm going to leave you here with a, an inspirational book. I would encourage you all to read it, and I've actually bought it for my uh, my baby that's going to be due any time soon. Uh, we're having a little baby, my girlfriend and I, which is uh, it's where the higher biology comes in handy, like. <laughs> anyway, but uh, it's a, it doesn't matter what age you are for this story. It's by uh, Dr. Zeus. Dr. Zeus and it's called The Places You Will Go. So I'm going to read you a bit of a quote from here. I can't read it all because it's about 10 minutes long and uh, the school budget can't afford a, a 10 minute video from me. So, uh, but I'll read a wee bit and uh, I would advise you all to go to the library in Blair or download it or I think you can get it from Amazon to be honest with you and uh, get this book. It doesn't matter what age you are, it's a great inspiration. Congratulations, today's your day, you're off to great places, you're off and away. You have the brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can see yourself in any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know and you are the guy who'll decide where to go. As I say, you can get the rest of that book. It goes on for ages, but it's very inspirational like you can. And so, best of luck wherever you are, whatever you do in life, you can. And I mind you can, wherever you end up in the world, it, you can hold your head up high and be proud that you spent some time on your life in Blurgowrie and were educated at Blurgowrie High School. You can, I know it gets a bad rap, but it, it's, a, it's not the worst place, actually. It's no bad at all, you can. It's actually, on the whole, it's a pretty good place to be educated at, to be fair. It's never done me any harm anyway, you can. So, that's all, and, uh, well, well, if you're ever passing the fair, I'm just firing up, we'll get a news me and a cup of tea, and I'll maybe get a hand with it to shift the sheep. But, uh, for everyone leaving this year, and, and all the award winners as well throughout the whole six years, well done, and uh, it's not been an easy year with the coronavirus and everything is stopping and starting, but hopefully things will resume in August, and uh, best of luck, whatever you do. Cheers to new.
Hi, for those who don't know who I am, I am Nathan McIntyre, head boy here at Blagow High School. I've had an absolutely amazing experience here at Blagow High School and I've made friends and memories that I will just never forget. Throughout S1 and 2, you're given a wide curriculum of subjects to take. You might find you like some, you might find you don't like some, but it's definitely good to know then. So then you take subjects in S3, you'll know what you like and what you don't like. Uh, for me, the business subjects are the ones I was always uh, keen to take, so I naturally took them uh, going into S3. Uh, I would encourage all S1s to keep an open mind. You might find you don't like some subjects at the start, but then grow to like them towards the end, and you should probably take that into consideration when taking them into S3. Uh, there's a wide range of extracurricular activities as well that you might find useful. There's also some after-school clubs as well. Uh, S1s joining, they may, be, they may feel nervous or that, um, but I would encourage them uh, just to be themselves. There's prefects and buddies there to take them round if they have any questions or issues, um, whether that's getting lost or anything like that, they'll definitely be there uh, to help you on your journey. Hi, I'm Rasheen, head girl of the last school year. I've always looked forward to prize giving and although this year's has been a bit unconventional, just like this last term has been, we've still had a jam-packed year at Bulgaria High School. I'd like to take this opportunity to highlight everything that has happened this year. I had many a visitor come to Burgary High School, so much me and Nathan had the pleasure of meeting us our roles as head pupils. Notably, Dougie McLean and Hamish McGregor, who put on a songwriting workshop in our music department. Deputy First Minister John Swinney visited the school and had sit-downs with some of our senior classes, our own included. My personal favourite, supermodel Adjo Boa, held an inspirational assembly with seniors to discuss her Girls Talk initiative targeting mental health, gender and sexuality. Our annual careers fair also brought many new phases into school from local businesses and contractors to universities and to the British Army. Though some excursions had to be cancelled due to coronavirus, there have still been plenty of trips like the always popular trip to Champaluk, the Highland Show with the Home Economics Department, the Younger History classes got to visit Bannockburn this year and of course the first year stay at the Action Packed Gillivan Lodge. I had so many great trips during high school and I hope next year you're all able to make the most of these great days out. I would also just like to thank uh, all the prefect team, the senior prefects, the house captains. They've done an absolutely amazing job this year. They've helped us out so much, whether that's after school events, doing duties, making sure everyone's on time, just making sure the school runs smoothly, uh, making our jobs a lot easier. Uh, I'd also just like to give a massive thanks to all the teachers. Unfortunately, we might not have had the time to say thank you, unfortunately, because of the coronavirus, obviously, uh, making us leave a little bit earlier than we maybe would have. But I'd just like to say a massive thanks to the teachers. They've done absolutely wonders for us. Um, they've been our rocks at some point. Some of us have had really low points, whether that's after exam results or anything like that. So I'd just like to say that they've done an absolutely amazing job. And it's not just the teachers, it's the cooks, it's the janitors, it's the office staff, the medical team. They've done an absolutely amazing job and they continue to do so for the next years ahead. Thank you very much. It goes without saying that this school year hasn't been what everyone expected. But despite that, we've still pulled together and had another great year at Wigari High School. To seniors, all I can say is stick in and work hard as it pays off down the line. To our prefect team, we couldn't have done it without you, even if some of you only started off for the tie. And to Mrs Leslie and Mr Stewart and to all senior members of staff, me and Nathan would like to thank you wholeheartedly for this amazing opportunity you gave us. We have learned so much in our role as head boy and head girl and hope that our predecessors respect and cherish the role just as much as we have. Thank you.
reached the end of lockdown term so I just wanted to say thank you and cheerio. What? Have I forgotten? You know I'm often forgetting things. House points. Oh house points, house points. Well you know it's going to announce at assembly this morning but top secret right it was so so close this year and when I counted it all up you're all winners. Every house because you've all done so well during lockdown, staying safe, that this year, for the first year in the history of Blair High School, every house is a winner. And every pupil in every house is a winner. Very, very proud of you all staying safe during lockdown. Have a great summer, everybody. Go Team Blair. Where are you going? Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're getting started on next year's house points. Each one wants to win next year. Who will it be next year? Who knows? Have a great summer, everybody.